Before we get into this really festive video, nothing about the video is festive other than I'm wearing a Santa hat, I want to remind you that I'm doing Vlogmas every single day over on my second channel. You can go down to the link in the description and also the pinned comment and go subscribe. There's been so many vlogs every single day this month. It's been so fun. And also, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please go click the button. I know a lot of people just casually watch and they don't want to subscribe. That's fine. I know a lot of people get unsubscribed. That's not fine. <laughs> just make sure you subscribe if you want to be and on with the video. Hi muckers, welcome back to the second video I am posting tonight. I hope we're liking the festivities of the Santa hat. We are keeping it because we are feeling very festive and very happy and we're very excited for today's video. Well, I know you have no idea what it's going to be right now, but I'm telling you that I'm very excited to make it and I hope that that energy can be reciprocated through my excitement to make the video. Before I get into this, this is just like an, an off statement I'm going to make. It's going to be very quick. Like, a general question to people who live in America. Can we explain this to me? Whenever This is so TMI, but ever since I've came to America and I'm like eating the food here, I'm like going to the bathroom on like average like four or five times a day. Now, whenever I'm back in Brighton or back in Ireland, I go to the bathroom like once every two days or something like that. Like, I'm, it's, I'm just like, I'm, I'm puzzled and would love to know if anyone has ever experienced that whenever they travel to like America or something. It always happens whenever I, I come here and I'm like a couple days in like eating the food and eating, you know, the snacks or even just like going out and like eating at a restaurant or something like that for some reason. I don't know if maybe it's travel nerves, maybe it has something to do with the food. I don't know. I would love to know if anyone has any answers for that. But anyway, we're going to get into today's video. So, okay. So Shane Dawson and Rylan Adams, famously engaged since 2019, which is 2019, 20, 21, 22, four years, going on five years they've been engaged, and there is a lot of conversation around their engagement, their marriage, and a lot of this is actually fueled by Ryland himself. Now, Ryland has released a video in uh, with his, you know, co-host Lizzie, and they are talking, I can't believe the SIP podcast is still going on, you know what, good for them, because Frenemies said that it would never last. And the sip has lasted longer than Frenemies, so I will give a round of applause to Ryland and Lizzie. Now, they talk about the fact that Ryland still really wants to get married, but him and Shane have kind of agreed that it's not the best time to get married, and it's not one of their priorities anymore, and they're extending their family by getting more dogs, and, you know, they're starting the process of, you know, trying to get a baby, but, you know, the biggest you know, the biggest thing of all would be to get married and they're kind of pushing it off because it's too much effort and it's too big a responsibility. But yet in the same breath, Ryland is saying that Shane, you know, wants to, you know, extend the family in terms of having a baby with Ryland through surrogacy, which they're very in the process of. But Ryland is saying that they're mutually agreeing not to get married because a marriage is, you know, is a really big responsibility and it's a really big thing and they're putting it off because it's too stressful. But then in the same breath, by the way, Ryland very clearly doesn't believe any of this. It's clearly Shane. But then Ryland's being like, but yeah, we're, you know, in the process of, you know, getting our baby and all like this. So getting married is a bigger commitment to y'all than having a child. Very weird. But I will say that I famously do not like Ryland Adams. There's just, I won't get into it because I don't want to be bitter, but... I actually feel really bad for Ryland Adams when it comes to his relationship with Shane Dawson, and hear me out. Ryland, on multiple occasions, has talked about the fact that, when are we going to get married? I would love to get married. I can't believe I'm still engaged. And all these different things, so much so that even in Shane's recent series with Jeffrey, you know, they, they have this conversation about, when are they going to get married? And Shane's like, oh yeah, when, when we get married. And furthermore, Ryland talks about that one of his biggest insecurities in the relationship is that Shane is going to leave him for a woman. Now, Shane is bisexual, and Shane talks at length about how sometimes he misses being with a woman. Now, there are many different moments in Shane Dawson videos where he will say that he fantasizes about Ryland having a pussy, and, you know, um, he misses, you know, the woman, and he always refers to Ryland as, you know, the woman in his life, and on his podcast, so all of this is coming to head because on the podcast with Shane, Ryland, Chris, and his brother Jared, they are talking about, you know, all of the, the situation that is going on with their wedding and basically that, you know, they, they don't see it as a priority anymore. But Shane, on the recent couple ones, I saw that Jam Reloaded had done an amazing video on this and I am going to... um I just watched the entire podcast 
of this, and I'm gonna rewatch it later on and kind of condense it in my own way, but I did see that Jam Reloaded did an amazing video on this, and it was basically talking about the fact that in their recent podcast, Shane has famously been actively flirting with Chris, their film guy, and he has been basing entire episode concepts around things that Chris likes and that Ryland has no interest in, so then Shane and Chris are, you know, the chemistry is bouncing off them, and then Ryland's left to the, you know, the side, and there's been a couple moments where, you know, Chris will share something and Shane will be so interested and then Ryland will try and make reference to the conversation that he's also excited about something and Shane will be like, Ryland, whatever. And there just seems to be a very disconnect there between Shane and Ryland, but not Ryland and Shane. It seems that Ryland is, you know, making that effort and how they're being you know, as a, as a couple on camera, you can only imagine what it is behind the scenes. And as I said, I do not like Ryland, but I feel really, really, really bad for Ryland in this situation because he constantly talks about the fact that, you know, he's, he's always scared and insecure about the fact that Shane talks about wanting to be a woman. Shane is now on their podcast talking about missing pussy and is also talking about the fact, you know, just flirting with Chris. And meanwhile, Ryland's just sitting there and it is so, so, so weird. He talked about in a recent one about wanting to suck Chris's dick and stuff. And it's like, Ryland is just there and it's, really fucking weird. Now, I am planning, I am traveling right now, so it's it's a bit difficult to download videos and stuff like that, um, but I am planning on making a, a really in-depth video by going through all of their podcasts, like, in one video, talking about all of it, but I saw that there was a discussion happening on Reddit about this, and so someone said, Shane not wanting to get married. So I'm in the planning stage of my wedding, and it's starting to hit me how much I really, you know, will be the center of attention. I had bad social anxiety as a kid, so on a level, I understand what Shane is saying, but the difference between us is I'm making changes so I can get married comfortably for me. Shane is just coming across as an ass and avoiding it altogether and, you know, pushing Ryland to the side. He doesn't really want to get married. Um, Blue brought the rings to shut Ryland up. So, basically, a lot of people talk about this as well because Shane and Ryland famously, I'm saying that a lot in this video, got engaged on the day, or they announced it on the day that the, the cat scandal, you know, I didn't blank on a cat, I didn't blank my cat, I didn't, remember that scandal? That was, that happened, and then Shane proposed, and this mega viral moment about Shane and the cat got distracted by Shane's engagement, and nothing has ever subsided since that, and there's been so much speculation about the fact Shane did that just to distract the media, and I feel awful for Ryland because now I feel like it, and I know Ryland feels the exact same, like, with the way Ryland talks about the insecurities of this relationship, I feel bad for Ryland because if I was ever in that, I would hope that someone in my close circle would call me out on it and, and try to, like, let me see the light, and I feel that Ryland does, but it's just... It just seems like such an unloveless, you know, sight coming from Shane, and it makes me sad for Ryland. As much as I, I've never been rooting for him, it makes me sad that you're in this where you just are being so disrespected on camera. Like, it's being disrespected on camera. I can't even imagine what behind the scenes is like. So, someone said, if he didn't think he could get married, he shouldn't have proposed to Ryland. I'd be devastated if my partner proposed just to put it off for years and complain and complain and complain constantly about the wedding. Someone said, I don't believe he wants to get married or have children with Ryland at all. He's just afraid Ryland will leave him, so he strings him along with the bare minimum promises of both. I think it's more about not wanting to lose half his money in a divorce than the fear of the actual wedding. So, a lot of people are discussing this, and someone said, I can guarantee the whole marriage part was just an, another avenue of potential ranking in the money for Shane, in my opinion. He proposed right around the time when he was getting cancelled for the full cat thing, which is what we previously discussed. I am willing to put a bet on money that he just saw a big white wedding redemption arc, you know, where he could be filmed for his channel, and it would be a very big moneymaker. The second it all blew over, and the palette went ahead with Jeffrey, he stopped talking about the wedding completely, if people have noticed, which is the truth. I think he realized just how deep um, he got himself in and realized that, you know, he had already agreed to marriage, which is a huge legal commitment and means officially sharing your finances and assets. I think he's realized how much he fucked up with the agreeing to do something he probably never actually wanted and has been slowly backpedaling until, you know, Ryland accepts it. Now, suddenly they have a kid on the way, so the big wedding isn't the main discussion anymore. He knows full well what he's doing and it's incredibly selfish behavior as well as damaging to others. And here's the thing as well. If Shane doesn't want to split his assets or even have a prenup organized really well, have lawyers involved with Ryland after being engaged for five years and being together for so many other ones, knowing each other for so many other ones, then call it all off. Stop trying to waste Ryland's life. Like, he's expressed that he wants to get married. Ryland's family want the wedding. And apparently you and I don't. You were the one that proposed. It's really, really, really weird. And 
to rush into a kid whenever you say that you're not ready for the commitment of a wedding is very, very, very weird and dangerous to say. I don't know if many people are picking up on that, but a child is not the same level of commitment. It's not even comparable to a fucking wedding. Are we aware of that? All right, okay. Oh my god, so everyone's saying that Shane just is, is enjoying the fact of lack of communication with Ryland and is constantly, you know, changing the topic, but he was planning on making wedding videos for views and redemptions, but everything subsided whenever Shane was able to get those views and money from the conspiracy palette with Jeffrey, not Ryland. Alright, okay. Now people are also saying, this is the thing, there's also absolutely nothing wrong with not wanting to get married. My issue lies with the fact that he proposed and got Ryland's hopes up when he clearly had no intention of ever fulfilling the proposal. It's one thing to get cold feet, but the way he talks about marriage implies he was never ever into it, which just isn't fair on the partner, i.e. Ryland. I do believe he fully proposed for selfish reasons and that's so damaging to the other people involved, so about the cat scandal. Someone else said they've also went back to calling each other boyfriends, so I really don't know what the hell they're doing, but it's very clear Shane does does not want to get married. At least not anytime, you know, soon. Not wanting to wear a tux, being the center of attention, excuses that he uses all the time is very, very, very lame. Because Ryland and his family have said that they could, you know, just have gotten eloped in Vegas and had a very easy, carefree wedding, but Shane has a problem with that as well. No need to record or do anything. Plus, Shane loves being the center of attention, so I don't believe a word he says. He's just the definition of a phony. I too am in the planning stages of my wedding and this is very, very, very weird to me. And people are like, this is what we know that Shane does not want to get married to Ryland because Ryland has said in multiple occasions they can go to Vegas or go to the courthouse. They don't need to make it a big spectacle and that at this stage, Ryland will take anything. Imagine your partner having to say that. Oh, I'll just take anything. And we know that Ryland is about the glitz and glamour and Shane loves being the center of attention, but now per Ryland, and I've never, I've never ever felt I would say that, it's just so unhappy from an outsider's point of view. But Ryland makes it very clear, and many times he talks about this. All right, okay. Someone said, I'll say this once and I'll say it again. Shane got down on both knees, in my opinion, to get the eyes off him and the controversy. I believe he might have just bought the ring ages ago with the idea of proposing one day, but because he was in the depths of Catgate, he just immediately strung at it. Someone said, I do understand Shane. I think I can remember him saying that he always wanted a big wedding, but he's too anxious for it. Also, he says he wants to be a movie director where, you know, he doesn't ask for... Or sorry... He also says he wants to be a movie director where literally everyone on set looks to him for advice, yet he doesn't like being the center of attention or controlling things. Yeah, okay. So, there's another post on here that's very interesting, and it says, Does anyone else feel like Shane does not like Ryland at all and is rather jealous of him? So this is all speculation, by the way. This is all just Reddit posts. After the whole, you don't even use better help thing, I've always, you know, thought that there was more of an opinion I've had about it. But it seems that Shane is only with Ryland because of everything he is that he wants him to be. So basically that Ryland is what Shane wants himself to be, allegedly. And now that Shane is not even the one that's more popular, Ryland is. Apparently, it just seems that he kind of resents him for it. Um, for the way he looks, for having a big loving family, that get along, getting brand deals easily. There's so many snarky comments uh, that Shane just kind of seems jealous. So this was basically Ryland had a better help deal and Shane was making the full like, do you even use it and blah blah blah, trying to make the sponsorship like look more dodgy because Shane's better that he's not getting them. Someone said, or so they said, does anyone agree with this or am I making this up? So we have someone, <laughs> Lana Del Cucci is the username, love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I agree. Every time Ryland is excited about something and then includes Shane in the conversation, Shane has a way to make a face and say something like, ugh, you're weird, just to ruin Ryland's good mood. And it always irritates me because I hate people like that. It's absolutely energy vampires. Shane just comes across as a narcissist and acts that way publicly in the relationship. So basically, like, w what's happening behind the scenes? All right, okay. I really think Shane, for some reason, feels that he needs to be mean or rude to the people that he loves. He's always been mean to his friends, his partner, etc. 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 But super nice to strangers and people that he barely knows. So, so they went on to say, he knows his family accepts him, so it gives him the green light just to be rude. Also, if he is, you know, miserable, um, looking at, you know, his friends and family who are happy, that would make him jealous. He wants to be the one that be able to make the best jokes or be the most liked. If his audience thinks he's funny, then why would, you know, he stop doing that? Like, his audience now finding him funny are what he wants. 
All right, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of people that are agreeing with this. These type of people are miserable, so they just need to, you know, make other people miserable to make them feel better about themselves. It's like, I don't want you to be happy if I'm miserable. You should be miserable too. It's really, really, really not fair. So someone said, we can say this, um, and that about Ryland, but he puts a lot of work into his life and videos. He's always moving and putting things together for their house, furniture, decorations, and that's just behind the scenes. He's doing everything all by himself. Shane just stands there watching him and talking with no initiative. Also, Shane has a way of treating the people closest to him like shit. It's like he always wants to get, you know, to a point in a relationship where he feels that they're beneath him and he can bully them. The only person he didn't do this to was Jeffrey because he would never, you know, put up with the, the bullshit that Jeffrey did to him with other people and basically he didn't see himself as above Jeffrey and that was the difference. So um, Shane tried to tease Jeffrey with like the alcohol thing in the recent you know video that he did where he was like Jeffrey like let's get you drunk like you've never been drunk before but Jeffrey pushed back on it and then Shane stopped it whereas if that, that was Ryland Shane would be like don't be a pussy I love pussy Ryland you don't have a pussy like would go on like that. Um, so I hate Jeffrey, but it was nice seeing Shane be put in his place. He can't just fuck around with everyone and there'd be no uh, consequences. I'm like, I'm like mispronouncing a lot of words today. I feel like the bathroom trips have like done something to my head. <laughs> so it's like Shane hates seeing other people happy because he isn't happy. He does it to Ryland and all of his friends. The only person I have yet to see him be with this like is Chris. I despise people like that. It's really weird the way he acts with Chris versus the way he acts with Ryland. So this is not helping the Shane is in love with Chris allegations as well. So I think Shane is jealous of anyone, you know, in their life um, that has been like Drew, Garrett, Andrea, or Ryland. All of them have, you know, been introduced to Shane's audience and liked without making weird, you know, humor content that Shane had to make to get the audience on board. Shane introduced people and, you know, people ended up liking Garrett more than Shane. And so that's why Shane then turned on Garrett and Andrea and Ryland. And it's like, uh, it's like Ryland is one of the last of that group, if not the last. He's the last from that group. Everyone else is left by now. So there's just a lot of, a lot of, lot of, lot of people like this, but there's a lot of people that also say it's all a character. Rylan used to have one too, until he realized how it made him look. He really played up the uh, materialistic thing, you know, in Shane's old videos. He seems more natural now and less focused on trying to be funny. I think Shane is too insecure to be himself, you know, because he thinks it would be boring. He definitely loves the whole shady and judgmental gay act, so he leans into it a bit too much. I think his actual personality is probably what we see around his family in videos, a lot more low-key. But here's the thing, people are gonna speculate and talk about what they're portraying, and if Ryland has now dropped that act and Shane hasn't, then it makes Shane look even worse. But in terms of Ryland speaking out about the wedding and basically being like, oh, well, yeah, you know, we've, we've kind of just agreed that we're not going to do it, even though Ryland talks in every other video about wanting to have the marriage and wanting to be married. Uh, it's so just weird. And then to, to basically state that having a baby is an easier task than getting married or a less stressful task is very scary. <laughs> is very scary that they believe that. But muckers, I wanna know your opinion. What do you think is going on? What do you think is going on? And I actually do have to end this off by saying that I actually do feel really bad for Ryland. I really, really, really do. Let me know your opinion. We'll talk about it below. I appreciate you being here. I'm doing Vlogmas on my second channel in New York. Go down to the link, click, join, whatever you want. I appreciate you being here and bye. Mwah.